So do I need to ask for forgiveness? We'll talk about that today on Bible Time. again, everyone, and thank you for joining me for Bible Time. And before we get into the topic, I just want to say hello to anyone who's new who may be watching this. You know, I've been doing this for three years now, almost three full years, and never thought to put it on the church Facebook page, the church that I belong to, that I pastor. And um, someone suggested it, and so, yeah, I'm going to start putting these weekly Bible Times on the church Facebook page. So if you're watching on that page, then welcome to you. This is something I do weekly. It's a typically five, six, seven minute short video called Bible Time. And a lot of times I'll take your questions, which I did today, take a person's question. And sometimes I'll have my own topics and I'll just try to relate everyday life to the Bible to kind of help us give us a little boost in the middle of the week, kind of like, you know, if you knew Pastor Ian's midweek uplift, it's similar to that. So here we go. We got a question. It says, if Jesus forgave us of all of our sins, do I need to ask God to forgive me every time I sin? Great question. Love it. And here's the answer. And um, it's really pretty simple, but listen to the whole thing before you, you turn me off. Okay. No, legalistically speaking, technically speaking, you do not need to ask God to forgive you for something he has already forgiven you for. Let's go back to the beginning here. In the Old Testament, they had to have daily sacrifices and a yearly atonement for their sins because their sins were only covered. They were not ever forgiven. It was a foreshadowing of Jesus coming, who was the final sacrifice, the perfect Lamb of God, who died for our sins. And in that moment, took every sin from people who were not even born yet and forgave them all. The sins you have not committed yet, the ones you'll commit later today, the ones you're committing right now because you're not listening to Bible time and your thoughts are drifting, the ones you'll commit tomorrow, they're all forgiven. So technically speaking, no, you don't need to. But God is not going to say, I'm not listening to that because I already forgave that. No, God understands. And yes, it's perfectly fine. And honestly, something that's okay to do to say, God, forgive me. I really messed up in that situation. But let's talk about what really is going on here and what do we really need to do? The word is repent. Okay, and there's a guy, a very popular teacher on uh, social media, not going to call him out, that says, you don't need to repent of your sins. You just need to repent. And he's absolutely right. He is extremely confusing to new believers, but he is absolutely correct. In the um, New Living Translation, in several places, they take the word repent and they turn it into repent of your sins. Well, the word is just repent. And repent means to turn around. You don't repent of your sins. You repent. When you sin, you do need to repent. Because when you sin, what you're doing is you are, and you can find this in the Bible, if you read Paul's letters very closely, you are allowing yourself, and in many ways, attaching yourself to the demonic. You're inviting them in. They try to get you to sin because that's how they feed on you. Just like if a flea were to bite you, it would suck your blood out or a mosquito or a tick. It's feeding on you. And when you wash it, you flick it away, pull it off, it's no longer feeding on you. But you're allowing the demonic to essentially feed on you spiritually. So when you repent, it's a change of behavior. It means to literally means to turn around. So you're going down a road, you repent, you turn around, you turn back to God. You give up Satan and his demons, and you go back to God immediately. That's what repentance is. So we need to daily repent, because we daily sin. So there is a difference. Our sins are are forgiven, but we do need to repent. Now, this wasn't asked, but as part of this, I want to say, can you give back your salvation? Okay, I'm going to go to my mom and say, Mom, I know you birthed me 53 years ago, but I don't want to be birthed by you. I'm giving it back to you. 
That's ridiculous. So when you're you're born again, you're born once physically, you're born again spiritually. So you are born once physically, born again once. You can't give it up. You can't give it back. Okay, sure. Maybe God will let you go. I'm not God. I'm not going to decide for him. But the thing I'm trying to get at is people have created this doctrine of demons that says that you can sin yourself out of salvation. Hogwash. It is the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. You cannot sin yourself out of salvation. Your sins are forgiven. When you sin in this natural life, this physical life, you are harming yourself. You are bringing death to your physical body. Your spiritual body is born again. It will never die. You cannot sin away your salvation. You can sin yourself into oblivion and destroy this physical body. But because this physical body is going to die anyway, but your spirit will never die if you are born again. It just will not. And no amount of sin can take that away. There's nothing in this world, nor principality, nor authority, nor power. Nothing will come against you and the love of God for you if you are in Christ Jesus. So do you need to ask for forgiveness? No, you don't need to. Should you? Yeah. It's also a good way to keep up in conversation with God and let him know you know you went wrong. Do you need to worry about losing your salvation? Never, never, never. Don't ever let anyone tell you that you can. Do you need to repent? Yes, I highly recommend we repent every time we sin, every time we think about it, daily. Turn back to God, break off, flick those little fleas off your arm, called demons and get back to God and change your ways to walk with God. The more you do it, the more easier it's going to get, the more you're going to be like Christ, the the better your relationship with God's going to be. So that's your Bible time for today. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll talk to you again all real soon. God bless.